Um, so for number two, we just have to check whether these are propositions and then give the truth value for each one. So A is not a proposition because the definition of a proposition is a statement that is either true or false, uh, which is not the case here because it's a question. So um, B, it is not the case that 5 plus pi is not a rational number. So this is a proposition because we can we can verify its truth value. So the way that we interpret it is we're saying, okay, not the case that five plus pi is not a rational number. So what we're saying is not the case that not, not P, where P is equal to five plus pi is rational. So not not P, we have a double negation, which means that P, so, 5 plus pi is rational is false, so therefore this is false. Um, x for C, x over 2 is a rational number. Uh, this is a little bit tricky, uh, but it's not a proposition because the truth value depends on what, what we plug in for x. So if I plug in, say, uh, 1 for x, this is true, but if I plug in e, uh, it is false. So because we can't tell the truth value, um, this is not a proposition. And the same logic applies for D, right? Whose truth value depends on what I plug in for X and Y. So because I don't know what those values are, I can't tell. Um, so not a proposition. What about E? Well, it is a proposition because we can definitely verify whether it is true or false. So we're just going to set up the proposition form. So this is P, Q, and we're going to say that... Um, 3 plus pi is rational, so it belongs to the rational numbers. And then 3, q is equal to 3 minus pi belongs to the rational numbers, right? And all we have to do is check whether this is true or false. So our propositional form is p or q. So we'll check the truth value of each one and then look at it in the, our propositional form. So um, this one is false because it has pi in it, and pi is not a part of the rational numbers. And the same logic applies to q, which is also false because pi is not a rational number. Therefore, we have the conjunction of false or false. Um, so this one is false. So even though it is a proposition, um, it is false. What about e? Uh, sorry, f. Either 2 is rational and pi is irrational, or 2 pi is rational. So let us set up our propositional forms. Um, this time we have three propositions. We have two is rational, that is the first one. Um, for Q we have, let's see, pi is irrational. So pi does not belong to the set of rational numbers. And then we have, um, 2 pi is rational, so 2 pi does belong to the set of rational numbers. And the propositional form is either 2 pi is rational and, so we have p and q, and then or r. So that is our propositional form. So all we have to do is just check the truth value of each one. So this one is true because tr uh, 2 is rational. Um, pi is irrational, so this is also true. It does not belong. And then 2 pi is not rational, it does not belong, therefore this is false. So our propositional form here, when we evaluate it, we have um, p, so true and true, or false, right? True and true, the conjunction of two true statements is true, uh, and then we have a disjunction with a false statement, uh, and true or false ends up being true. So um, this is a proposition and it is true. Let's evaluate G. So for G, we do have that um, P is 5 pi, 5 pi is rational. Um, Q is 4.9 is rational. And then we have that 3 pi um, is rational. So let us set up the statement. So we have either 5 pi is rational and 4 pi is rational. So either p, p and q, uh, maybe I'll just p and q, uh, or r, yes. So that is the form p and q or r. 
So let, let us check the truth value of each one. Um, the first one is false because pi does not belong to the rationals. The second one is true because 4.9 is equal to 49 divided by 10. Both of these are integers, so it does satisfy the definition for a rational number. And um, r is false because pi is not a rational number. So when we evaluate this, we have false and true uh, or false. Now, a conjunction of false and true gives us false, and then we have a disjunction with false, so false or false will give us false. So this is a proposition, but it is false. Um, <clears throat> let's check Let's check H, right? Um, so we, we're going to say that P is equal to minus one-half is rational, so minus one-half belongs to the rational numbers. Um, and then we have Q is... 3 pi less than 10, and then r, we have 3 pi is greater than 15. Now, this is a little bit tricky to interpret because what we're saying here is uh, negative 1 half is rational and either um, 3 pi is less than 10 or 3 pi is, is greater than 15. So what we're really doing is... Um, we are evaluating these two first, right? Because we're saying either one or the other. So we're evaluating um, we're evaluating Q or R first, seeing that truth value, and then saying that and and P. So even though the um, the and connective, uh, when you do see it in propositional form, you should apply it first unless it has a parenthesis. Um, we should be careful when we're interpret. We're, in, we're interpreting a sentence and then transforming it into propositional form. So just because you see an and does not mean that the and will go first, like when you see it written down. So you have to first interpret the meaning and then set it equal to propositional form. So uh, let us check the truth value of each one. Um, so the first one is true because uh, minus one is an integer, so is two. Um, so their quotient is a rational number, as per the definition. Uh, Q, 3 pi is less than 10. This is true. It's about 9.4 something. Um, and so if it's less than 10, it's obviously not bigger than 15. So this is false. So when we are evaluating this, we're saying, okay, this is true and uh, true or false. So the conjunction, sorry, the disjunction between true and false will give us true, and then we have a conjunction with true, so this ends up being true. Uh, so it is a proposition, and it is true. Um, let us evaluate now item I. So for I... We have only tr two propositions, P and Q, and P um, is 39 is prime, and Q is equal to uh, 64 is a power of 2. Okay, um, so we are going to... We're going to um, first set up the propositional form, right? Uh, because And this is a proposition because we can check whether it is true or false. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. So we can say that this is a proposition. And now let's set this up. It is not the case that 39 is prime. So we're saying not P or uh, or. Q, um, not P or Q, right? Um, so what we what we have here, it's not P or Q. And actually, this is there's a small detail, right? It is not the case that 39 is prime or that 64 is a power of true of two. So actually, I, I wrote this down. This should be not uh, not P, not P or Q, because we're saying it is not the case. Uh, that 39 is prime 
or not the case that 64 is a power of 2, right? So once more, um, we do have to be very careful with our interpretation. So let us evaluate um, let us evaluate this statement over here. So 39 is a prime. Um, this is clearly false because 39 is divisible by 3. Yes. How about 64 is a power of 2? Um, this is true. 64 is indeed a power of 2. This is, this is true because we can express as 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 64. So what we're saying here is, uh, so we have not p is false or true. So not the, the disjunction of false and true gives us true. So not true is equal to false. So this is a pop position and it is false. We just have to be very careful when we're, uh, when we're interpreting these written statements. Um, and lastly, we have, uh, we have, there are more than three false statements in this book and this statement is uh, it's one of them. So this is tricky and we can't really, we can't really interpret it, right? Uh, so because either there aren't, uh, there aren't more, there aren't more than three, right? Uh, and the statement is one of them. This does lead to a paradox, right? It does lead to a contradiction because, um, either there are more than three, and the statement would be would be true, right? So that is false. Or there are less than three, and the statement, so and the statement is true. So not we can, we can't really we can't really tell. Um, we can't really tell with this one. So not a proposition.